virtual reality continues to push the boundaries of immersive technology, and Meta is at the forefront. With its latest update, MetaQuest has introduced Micro Gestures, a game-changing feature that enhances how users interact with VR environments. This update expands the capabilities of hand tracking by allowing users to make subtle thumb gestures on their index finger, potentially revolutionizing controller-free VR interactions. Alongside this, Meta has also improved its audio-to-expression AI model, which enhances the realism of facial animation animations from audio input. But what do these updates actually mean for the future of VR experiences? Are we on the brink of seamless, intuitive interactions that feel as natural as reality itself? Let's break down what micro gestures are, how they work, and what this update signifies for the VR industry. The Power of Thumb Micro Gestures the introduction of thumb micro gestures is a significant step toward improving controller-free interactions in VR. Meta's new feature allows users to tap or swipe their thumb against their index finger to perform specific commands, mimicking the functionality of a trackpad. This seemingly minor addition has the potential to reshape how we interact with virtual environments, offering a more natural and effortless alternative to traditional control schemes. Unlike full hand gestures, which often require exaggerated movements and a learning curve, Micro gestures operate in a subtle, intuitive manner. By keeping the hand in a relaxed, curled position, users can trigger commands with minimal effort, reducing strain and making interactions more fluid. For VR developers, this opens up a new world of interaction possibilities. From menu navigation to locomotion techniques like teleportation or snap turning, all without requiring physical controllers. One of the most exciting aspects of micro gestures is their potential application in mixed reality, MR, and augmented reality AR. Meta's ongoing work on its SEMG, surface electromyography, neural wristbands suggest that this technology could extend beyond VR headsets, eventually integrating with lightweight AR glasses. If successful, these micro gestures could serve as a universal input method, allowing users to seamlessly interact with digital interfaces across multiple devices. The fact that Meta is aligning these innovations with its long-term AR vision further reinforces the idea that Quest headsets are serving as a testing ground for future AR hardware. How developers can implement micro gestures. For developers looking to integrate micro gestures into their VR applications, Meta has provided multiple avenues. The feature is available in Unity via the Meta XR Core SDK, while developers using other engines can access it through the OpenXR extension XR Meta hand tracking micro gestures. This ensures that a wide range of VR experiences can incorporate the new interaction method regardless of the development platform. Meta has suggested several potential use cases, but the real power of micro gestures lies in the creativity of developers. Instead of requiring users to stretch out their arms and physically point at objects, micro gestures offer a more ergonomic solution for interacting with UI elements. This could be particularly beneficial for extended VR sessions, where minimizing arm fatigue is crucial. Beyond simple navigation, micro gestures could pave the way for more complex interactions. Can you imagine being able to scroll through web pages, adjust in-game settings, or even control robotic avatars with precise finger movements? The implications for accessibility are also significant, as this feature could provide an alternative control scheme for users with limited mobility. The flexibility of micro gestures means they could be adapted for a variety of applications, from gaming and productivity to social VR and medical rehabilitation. The Quest Pass-Through Camera API, a new frontier for mixed reality. In addition to micro gestures, Meta's latest update includes improvements to its pass-through camera system, allowing developers to access the headset's forward-facing color cameras. This is a major step forward for mixed reality applications, as it provides developers with the necessary tools to create more immersive MR experiences. With user permission, apps can now tap into metadata such as lens intrinsics and headset pose, enabling custom computer vision models to be deployed in real time. This means developers can integrate environmental mental awareness into their applications, opening up possibilities like hand-object interactions, spatial mapping, and even AI-powered augmented overlays. As Meta continues to refine its MR capabilities, we may soon see Quest headsets being used for advanced applications beyond gaming, such as professional training, remote collaboration, and industrial design. Enhanced Realism with Improved Audio to Expression Another key component of the latest update is the refinement of audio to expression, an AI-driven feature that translates microphone input into facial expressions. 
first introduced in version 71 of the Meta XR Core SDK. This model generates realistic facial muscle movements based solely on voice input, eliminating the need for dedicated face tracking hardware. The upgraded version, released in V74, improves emotional expressivity, mouth movement accuracy, and non-speech vocalization interpretation. This means that avatars in social VR settings can now convey a wider range of expressions with greater precision. Whether you're laughing, shouting, or whispering, audio to expression ensures that your avatar's face mirrors your emotions in a more lifelike way. This is particularly significant for social VR platforms like Horizon Worlds, where expressive avatars play a crucial role in communication. By replacing the outdated Oculus Lip Sync SDK, which only tracked lip movements, audio to expression offers a more comprehensive solution that enhances user presence in virtual spaces. The fact that this AI model uses less CPU than its predecessor further highlights Meta's commitment to optimizing performance while improving realism. Interestingly, despite its potential, audio to expression has yet to be integrated into Meta's Avatars SDK or Inside Out Body Tracking System. This suggests that while the technology is advancing, it may still be in the experimental phase. However, as Meta continues to refine its AI models, we can expect deeper integration into future VR and AR applications. Meta's latest update for Quest headsets brings a host of exciting advancements that could significantly impact the future of VR and AR. With thumb micro gestures, users gain a more intuitive and effortless way to interact with virtual environments, eliminating the need for traditional controllers in many scenarios. The improved audio to expression AI model enhances avatar realism, making social VR experiences more immersive and expressive. Combined with expanded access to pass-through cameras for mixed reality applications, these updates signal a major leap forward in digital interaction as we move toward a future where VR and AR become more deeply integrated into our daily lives. Features like micro gestures and AI-driven facial tracking will play a crucial role in shaping how we interact with technology. If you're as excited as we are about these groundbreaking advancements, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more updates on the future of VR and AR. Oh,